I work with all different types of athletes, as in different personality types. Some of them like to talk and some of them don't, but I try to build relationships with every single one of them so that when they are the star player, they wanna to talk to me and they expect to talk to me. In 2018, the Seahawks signed a guy named Puna Ford. Now, he was undrafted out of the University of Texas, and he was beloved by his teammates in college. His coaches couldn't say enough about him, and the scouts who signed him and found him thought that he was a steal. From my point of view, though, it was a challenge because Puna Ford does not talk to very many people, and when he does, it is super short answers which for somebody who asks questions for a living and is hoping that you're gonna give more than a one or two word answer could be a potential challenge that needs to be overcome. Look, I loved Puna and his ability and I knew that he was gonna be a big player. And so I set out to make sure that he and I had a good relationship from the beginning. And here's what happened. Early on, I didn't talk to him at all. I didn't need to. I knew that that was going to be too intimidating. Look, if somebody doesn't want to talk to you, you cannot force them or make them want to talk to you. You can, however, warm up that space. So I identified where Puna's locker was in the Seahawks locker room. FYI, I can be there because I am a credentialed member of the media working for the Seahawks. Please do not try to break into anybody's locker room. That would be a bad idea and that is not gonna get you any closer to reaching your career goals. Back to the story. So Puna's locker is in one corner, and for several weeks, I talked to the players around Puna, but never to Puna himself. In fact, I went out of my way to not say hi to him for a number of weeks. I just wanted him to see that I had already built relationships with people around me, or people around him, and that they trusted me. Finally, at one point, I introduced myself to him, to which he said, okay. I mean, like, literally, I said, hey, Puna, my name's Jen. I work for the team. At some point, you and I are going to be doing an interview post game." And he said, okay. And I said, okay, well, that's all I needed to tell you today. Like, have a great practice. I'll talk to you tomorrow. And he said, okay. And then I thought, this is going to be harder than I even realized. But the next day I walked in and I said, hi, Puna. And he kind of nodded his head and he at least said hi. A couple days later I went in and I knew that he'd played at the University of Texas. And I knew that Texas was playing Oklahoma. And I knew that there were no guys in the locker room who had gone to Oklahoma. And I said, okay, who are you gonna make a friendly wager with? He said, nobody, cause nobody's gonna bet me they didn't go to Oklahoma. I said, okay, I'll take Oklahoma. I'll take OU, you take Texas. So he made a little friendly wager there about some snacks on the side. And he and I not only had a reason to talk about that, but we had a reason to follow up the conversation after the game. I'd like to point out that OU won the game. So not only did I get to follow up, but I had bragging rights and then he had to pay off the bet. And then by the time that he paid off the bet, guess what? Puna was a star in the game and he did the post game interview and he did it gladly. And he gave me more than two words. And ever since that day, he comes up and he talks to me. Look, it's not on accident and it's not because I employed any magic. It's because I was persistent and I was strategic in how I approached this. If your networking efforts are not as strategic as that, then you are flying all over the place and you're not seeing a return on your investment. There is a way to warm up the space, get people to trust you and build rapport just by having short conversations. Don't overlook that. Don't force people to do it, but understand that there is value in being seen time and time again. If you want to know how many times it takes, it's five. Plan those out on your calendar and I guarantee you that you are going to see results. But hey, that's just the way I do it. I'd love to hear how you do it. Make sure you leave a comment.